rotor, rotor nerf and the, the detectability nerf. I mean, even the detectability nerf, I wouldn't say, is what completely crippled it. Uh, making it continue to take full AP pens kind of crippled it as well. Yeah, well, they've, that, but, they've gotten rid of that, thankfully. No, it still takes full AP pen damage. It and oh, shit. I thought, well, because they got rid of it on Harugumo, so... It, no, it, it and Harugumo are the only two DDs in the game that take full AP pens. No, I'm pretty sure that they actually reverted that. They, yeah, they said... full AP pen damage. Oof. But again, both, both those ships have a stupid amount of health and kind of dumb armor. So both, both of them have it set so that they take full AP pen damage. And then they, but they haven't put it on Smallland or Ragnar. Because neither of those are... Well, both of those are very squishy. Yes, but they're also easily the most bullshit DDs in the game. Yes, but the difference is that Kava on paper has a belt that can ricochet every single shell in game. On paper, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I mean, in practice, you have the bow and nose, so it's irrelevant. But... I have a sneering suspicion if I keep going on this path, I'm gonna get jammed between the fucking Mogami and the entire game. Somebody attack him! No, this destroyer, be fast. I'm pretty sure the uh, Makuma is actually faster than me as well. Uh, Makuma can I mean, do like a 40 knots. knots. Yeah, yeah, is, is it Makuma like 36 knots? 36, yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 34. Yeah. But he is faster than me. Well, and I'm doing 22 in my ship that never made it to 22. Don't worry about it. You made it close enough, you can argue it's rounding. The game doesn't show us decimal places. True, nice but... Comeback. I bet you when I get all the mobility upgrades, I'll magically be doing 24. Don't question it, dude. Don't worry no, about it. I mean, I'm appreciating just, the extra. They just really cleaned to the hole. <laughs> they, just, they just really polished it. Maybe it's because I took the torpedoes out. Uh, yeah, you also you de you de it. That's actually a question. What? Do you think they'd bother putting in altering your draft with the amount of ammunition you've got? I would hope yes. so, but I know they do. Yep. Yeah. Because yeah. ammunition yeah. mass is counted to your displacement. So you and your displacement. Yes, it should be. Does that mean I also capsize easier? Uh, I don't know about that. I think that the ammunition is generally kept lower in the hold, and... Oh, your COG doesn't get it adjusted, by the way. Yeah, never mind, it doesn't. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, because the COG is actually manually set. Yeah, I can cap a lot easier if I'm taking that out. Yeah, no, I just remember that. The COG is literally... You manually set it by ship fizz, so it's... Yeah, it's... Uh, as far as, like... As far as the uh, mass goes, yeah, ammunition mass is counted. I know that for a fact. I can blow up and calling you right now. I have a load of lanterns. It shouldn't affect your time to speed though, because that's manually set. So you won't be more agile, just to be clear. It would just mean you sit higher in the water. That's a shame. I was really hoping that it would let me go faster and faster and way not. No, it's, unfortunately time to speed is just simply a manually set value. I really hoping to rip apart my mouth. Understandable. Again. After the reinforcements, no less. Superior, superior Japanese construction. Hey. Superior, you get two ships when you build one. Yeah. Um. One. Clearly, uh, superior, <laughs> superior British and American construction. You take one ship, the enemy sinks it, and you get two out of it. Yeah. Oh, I'm fucking dead. Yeah, fucking lance exploded. That is why I don't bother to run. Yeah. Why I just fire all of them off in the general direction of the enemy. I uh, I just don't take them. Well, I'm not gonna not run torps on a Japanese DD. It's like basically my main damage dealing. I just don't bring Japanese DDs. I just yeah, don't I tend know. to play Japanese. Understand. Ace Yuga. You guys just sit in the back and press WM1. Or not even W, just press up press M1. Huga is find a PK to hide your nose behind. I feel like 
almost yeah. technically ace crew in my new dog. Yuri on level 11 crew updates and finds range. Can I just comment how ridiculous Congo's survivability is compared to Hugo's? Oh yeah, well, because she has a draft that's relatively historical, whereas Hugo's is like... They, yeah. They've somehow found a way to make Hugo serviceable in destroyer-based ports. A, a, a great leap forward in, in the draft uh, design, yeah. So what you're saying is, is that we need to... I'm assuming that Mag has written a report for it already, because he's done that for like 40 ships. Yes? Dead, yes. Good. Nice. Like, the question is, when are they going to fix it? When you action it. Yeah, that will have to be done first. I, I have to look at the report <laughs> section. <laughs> That's funny. Thank you, man. Attack the B point. They're still coming. Yep. I have still a whole board board of cruisers in front of me. Crossing my T. Nice. How the fuck am I? Th oh yeah, right. Cause I'm burning to death. Fuck off, man. I just immediately put out my fire. Now I have to. I, I enjoy that game mechanic. Hmm. Cancel out preparing. The higher, higher crew gone. Okay, five rail. Try to cut B. I'm oh, good, and then it fucking unlocked targeting. Why the concern? Moffat's killing my turrets. <laughs> the light forces have captured the dog. Fucking lit on fire. Somebody, cover me! Okay, my comment about Ikoma's guns. Yeah, no. Attention to the designated grid zone! I'm confused. Well, the 12 inch just don't do anything. They do fine against lighter ships, they do jack shit against battleships because they're just 12 and 45s from I mean, light they do, I mean, they do nothing against a Helena either. That's strange. I've definitely fucked up a Helena a few more than a few times in that thing. Well, having lost half my crew, I'm suddenly not uh, measuring range quickly. Mm. Wild. Shocker. It's fucking wild, dude. Crazy how nature do that. It's not even nature, it's just me being fucking hard. Ooh, and now I die because an Eugen put a shell into my funnel. That's basically happened to me. Same Eugen, too. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Marshall, Marshall. <laughs> The target. Man, this six is on nice. And I aim a hundred yards short of the target, and the shells went over him. Understandable. You know, I don't care that the, my 24s are getting ripped to bits in Ukraine. These things look cool. There we go. Come on, shells. Hit the, hit the ship. What a hit the ship. What a way. Perfect, perfect helicopter emulate sci-fi. I mean, I successfully hit the Oigan. It was almost dead already. Is that a torpedo coming my direction? Great. Great. Come on, move, you cow.
Beautiful hit amidships to our German destroyer, no damage. Hey, my guns are firing at air. Oh, and as soon as I get my rear turret onto the enemy, it is instantly killed by something. Because once again, destroyer grade HE knocks out my 12 inch turrets. Mm. I, I think think that keeps dying. Oh, it's the main rotor. No wonder. I think I was talking about Mathematica's Sean Horse turrets. <laughs> yeah. I mean, my Hugo turrets were getting knocked out by 5 6 inch HE. Oh, congratulations. A single HE shell from this Helena has completely wiped out my entire battery. I'm on fire. And I can't put the fire out or repair, and now there's a plane coming to bomb me. It was the plane coming to bomb me. Ooh. It was oh, the no. bastard in the Prince Oigan who took exception to me hitting him. How dare you exist. That is a clear viol violation of the Geneva Convention. Control. Did I mention that Ecoma gives terrible research? Hmm. Oh, it's not no. a premium, so let's go figure. What's the RP bonus on that thing? 600%. With the talisman? No. Ah. Alright, oh, that's fine. Mine, mine is Talisman. I'm like, I don't remember it being that bad, but yeah. This no, is premium, talisman. but like... I don't think plus Talisman. Well, with plus Talisman, it would be plus 100% of whatever... It, it's multiplier. It's yes. uh, 1.9. Yeah, that sounds about right. I mean, it's if you take a look and compare that to the... Uh, Same as Mikuma the... and lower the Mogami. Yeah. Yeah, oh, sorry, no, right. I said 600%. Mikuma is 570%. Ikoma, 380%. No, you have to check with them, because Mikuma gets a ta built-in talisman. Yes, I know, so take a look at that I'm, I'm just ignoring the t existence of the talisman, because I get basically well, the same RP multiplier with Yugure as I do with Ikoma. Except for the rank Here. efficiency, yeah. which is pretty huge. Um, and also the fact that, yeah, you have to look at, when you're going to look at something like Mikuma compared to uh, Ikuma, you compare them with the Talisman because yeah. you're spending gold. But either way, I get five kills and two assists and win a match, and I get 6,000 RP with Ikuma. Yeah, that sounds about right for Talisman. I get double that, which, yeah. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, naval RP gain is still utterly balls, unless you have an entire lineup of talisman vehicles. Or ahead of the enemy. Or backups. Or an entire lineup of talisman vehicles, because backups equates to the same thing, effectively assuming that you actually have talismans on anything. I put talisman on one vehicle, and then, uh, what should I call it? Like, I generally only need to spawn twice, because one fast attack craft, and then two blue water spawns. That's and basically the deal. If it makes you feel better as well, I have a talisman on Huga, and I was making maybe 10k a match. Uh, 10k, a bit more. Sounds about right. That being said, my Huga I stopped using just because I don't really have anything to grind with her, and... Yeah. And also Ikoma is better than my matchmaker, I find. I, I literally went and got myself an Ikoma talisman because she suits me better. Yeah. Tier for tier. I mean, she Ikoma... could be better matchmaker, like 6-7 is an awful place to play an Ikoma, but... Yeah. Season 3 is an awful place to play Nikoma. At the current climate of it, yeah. Surprisingly really bad. Every German battleship. Invincible. Uh, I was thinking just Scharnhorst and Congo alone. Congo 6-3. Great. For some fucking reason, yeah. It's 6-3, that's hysterical. Yep. I get the logic behind it, I just don't agree with it, because I don't agree with Scharnhorst being 6-3 either. Get it, you know, so my 8 gun. 
On the other hand, uh, once I finally research Congo, she ought to be hilarious fun. Yeah, no, she's pretty fun. I like they don't nerf her into oblivion by the time I actually get her because, you know... Well, they can't nerf her freeboard, they can't nerf her guns, they can't nerf her AA... They can buff her fire control and radio rooms. They can... <laughs> well, to be fair, the first place the AA is mostly there as a deterrent. The 25? Yeah. Yeah, and her like six five inch guns. This is just involved, uh, I guess, much more involved modeling. Is uh, you know, technically like the power traverse and sustain. You have a very kind of but that that would be far more involved in her in this changing value. They already have pre nerf values, although they, they did buff the singles. The singles now spin like 90 90, so they're pretty fast. Yeah, well, no, all I was saying was like in real life, for example, you, you can't uh, fire the, the 25s of full power to burst in like two minutes. Oh, yeah, no, absolutely. And the motor, I think, only lasts five minutes. Total for your base grip to cool down. Jesus. Yeah, it's very bad. It's very bad. They do be. Ooh, magnetic. It's not just the guns, mind. it's also the mounts, basically. That's the problem. I love it how I shoot at a Makuma and do nothing to it, and then the Makuma shoots at me and kills me. Basically instantly. Man, it sure would be nice if Mogami's number two turret would actually fire at anything. That's, That's more the orientation issue. Nope, the guns refuse to point at the same elevation as everything else. They have plenty of horizontal clearance, they just refuse to depress to the right angle to shoot something 12,000 yards away. MX. See if it adjusts. Mogami was working fine on the angles for me last time, so... I mean, I can just post a picture of it, because, like... The number two turret just refuses to shoot. Apparently the random little winch on the deck is in the way. Yeah, that looks like it's, a, it's actually just unable to clear it. Which is weird, because it shouldn't have any issue. The stupid winch is like two inches tall, relative to the gun. We have no clue then. It just won't depress below about 15 degrees. That sounds extremely, uh, Pepegla. And yeah. very fun and engaging. Yeah, because I'm sitting here at, like, a perfectly normal attack angle for the thing, and it refuses to actually point the forward battery at the target. 